Hi, I'm Beth Summers from the Wilton Test Kitchen and I'm here to answer a frequently asked question. It's summertime and that means lots of outdoor parties, backyard barbecues, weddings, and lots of special occasions. And it also means soaring temperatures and really high humidity, which can be the nemesis of buttercream iced cakes. So I wanna take you through a really easy recipe for high humidity icing that can help you beat the heat. I have a half a cup of solid vegetable shortening and I'm going to add it into my mixing bowl a half a cup of butter that's been softened so it's nice and room temperature that's gonna go in my mixing bowl too. We'll mix these in our mixer until they're nice and creamy and well combined. I have one teaspoon of Wilton's clear vanilla extract and I'm going to use this because it's not going to add color to my icing. I have four cups of sifted confectioner sugar here, which is about one pound. And I'm going to add a key ingredient, all-purpose flour. This is a starch and it's going to help our icing stay together when it's really hot because it's going to absorb moisture even as your icing gets warm. So we're just going to mix these together. Just like that. And now we're going to add this to our mixer one cup at a time. After you've added some sugar, you'll notice it starts to stick to the sides of the bowl, so you'll want to stop the mixer at that point and scrape it down so that everything can get good and incorporated. You'll do this a few times throughout the adding the sugar process. When you've finished mixing in your flour and your sugar mixture, your icing is going to look very dry. That's totally normal. Now for our second secret ingredient. I'm going to add Wilton whipped icing mix to my icing. It's another starch, so it's going to stabilize my icing even further. Plus, it adds a really delicious creamy vanilla note. If you don't have whipped icing mix, you can omit that in the flour and use cornstarch instead. So I'm going to add five teaspoons of whipped icing mix to two tablespoons of milk and then add that into my icing. So that's how easy it is to make icing that will withstand high humidity. Now that you know how to do this, keep in mind it's always best to keep a cake in an air-conditioned room for as long as possible until you're ready to display it. And always keep cakes out of direct sunlight to avoid fading as well as melting. If you have a question that you'd like to ask, leave it in the comments below. You never know, I might answer you next. I'm Beth and I'll see you next time.